it is the first video for my 2023 plans and goals progress update. This is for the month of January. And if you would like to follow along, I plan on doing these every single month and there will be a playlist. You can click in the description below to follow along. So we will just get right into it. We have the planner out, not sponsored. Someday, someday I may be able to say sponsored. We'll see. So I do have some notes, some overall notes, because this there's not a lot of space. There's not a lot of space in the planner itself to write a bunch of notes. So I do have some notes in my OneNote, which I love. Uh, right off the bat, I did make good use of my time considering my history on YouTube, but I do plan on being more efficient with my filming in the coming months. And what I mean by that is like in my Escalante video, I was like, oh, I'm going to film this video, but I'm all filmed out. So I don't know. And so I, I think I need to try and push through some of those moments and just get it done because then I say to myself, oh, I'll do it this time, this time or this day and something happens and I can't get around to it. So then I'm kind of scrambling to get my content and I don't want my content to look like that. And I did have um, some of those instances, but yeah. So that is the overall of how I think I did in the month of January. Let me know what you think how I did if you've been following me for a while. Oh, I also, I think I will also be including my analytics from month to month. That is going to my YouTube backstage view and looking at the numbers, like how I improved with video views from the current month to the previous month and uh, subscribers from the current month to the previous month. So if you would like me to include that, please comment below. I'm not gonna include that in this video because we're at the start of 2023 where I'm really making a concerted effort, is that the right word, to accomplish these goals. So comparing to December would not be very accurate. Before we get into my overview of my YouTube channels, I wanna talk about the travel plans that I have been discussing. I will be going to Matt's off-road recovery. Uh, they're having an off-road wrecker games in March, March 9th through the 11th. So I decided to postpone my cross country trip because of that. So if you're gonna be there in that area, then let me know. And I looked up the Outdoor Expo, Overlanding Expo, and there is one in Colorado in August. So I do plan on going to that because those were some of my goals that I wanted to accomplish this year was to travel as well as meet some of my subscribers and my viewers. My cross country road trip is most likely going to be postponed until I move out of this place because there are, it all boils down to finances and it's just not financially feasible for me to travel across the country. And so that will have to wait until I either hit the lottery or I move out of here. So what I think I will do instead is I will be going across the loneliest road and then because it will be summertime, I move out of here the end of May, instead of heading south and going across the United States south, I will go up top, like over to Maine, I don't know that high, and then across North Dakota and Minnesota. I haven't even been to those states at all. And then I will travel down the west coast, back to the loneliest road and back to Utah. Maybe this coming fall or winter, I can travel south. And so we'll see how that goes. So that is the current plans for my trips this year. Matt's off-road recovery, the off-road record games, the 
overlanding expo in Colorado in August and then cross country when I hit the lottery. Now diving into my videos for this channel. Some weeks were better than others. I did have to scramble to get a couple of videos done and wasn't able to do so because of time or weather or daylight and it was it was difficult it i think i have chosen the most challenging possibly video content to create which involves the outdoors and long hours and miles of traveling and weather and daylight need to cooperate so I am focusing on that, getting my trips in early in the month. If I plan on going down south or wherever in Utah or maybe Arizona, Nevada, if you have suggestions, let me know before I hit my cross country road trip. Uh, I need to get those done early. And then I did not plan on considering my live streams. I didn't even plan on doing live streams just when they came up, but I kind of counted those in my favor as counting towards my two videos per week. Ideally, I would like to do two videos per week. However, it may not work out. And so I will focus on definitely one video per week. And if I can get to, that's a bonus, great. And then sometimes my live streams will be a video for that week. And YouTube doesn't like live streams very much. You, they just don't. For my review channel, Rachel's Off Road. <laughs> I'm so focused on the off road stuff. Rachel's Outdoor Adventure Reviews. Can't even remember the name of my channel. Uh, I did get all four videos done and I was determined to, I was determined to get them posted on Thursdays and even if I get it posted 11.59 PM, my time, that counts. Well, I busted the one for yesterday. Yesterday was Thursday. Today is a Friday. My nephew's birthday, baby Jordan. He is 20 years old. Oh my gosh. I've been an aunt for 20 years. Anyway, I, you would not believe the effort. You really wouldn't believe the effort I go to, to try and get content. Honestly, I have really put in the work this month for the first time in my YouTube career, career. Yeah, I have really worked on being as efficient as I can and spent yesterday driving two hours to find some place, some place to pull over to just film my video because it's an outdoor product, yada, yada. Snow, snow everywhere, four feet high. <sighs> It's great. We are very lucky to have all this moisture and rain and snow, so we'll leave it there. Um, and then I just, with my outdoor, with my review channel, I want to focus also on getting the review videos done kind of all at once in bulk. So then I have them throughout the month or maybe into future months, which would be nice. Another thing I have added onto my plate are Amazon shoppable videos. If you have the Amazon app and you open it up on your phone or tablet, you may see a light bulb icon in the bottom menu bar where your account person icon is and then there's a light bulb and a menu. Anyway, those are Amazon shoppable videos tailored to what you like. What Amazon is doing is they're taking business back, well, away from TikTok really, because if you've ever been on TikTok, they have those things you didn't know you needed on Amazon videos. And so Amazon's like, eh, we're gonna get in on that game and bring that content to our platform 
and they have reached out to Amazon influencers. Influencers are those who have a large following on some social network platform and they have a storefront. So they've reached out to Amazon influencers to create these shoppable videos. And my goal is to get 10 videos done by um, the middle of February. Amazon only wants them to be 30 seconds, 15 to 30 seconds. If they're a minute long, then it needs to really engage the viewer so that they stay watching it. So when I found out about this, I had just done my Trailblazer fire pit, personal fire pit from Fireside Outdoor. So I used that footage. I had to put it into a vertical video. I did the best I could trying to get to the 30 second mark and major props. I give major props to the Micro Machine guy from the 80s because I was flying with my words and trying to get everything in. And I got it down to 37 seconds. And then I saw some other videos that people had done and they were 45 and 54 and over a minute long. If you'd like, you can follow my Amazon storefront and check out the videos that I do. And they may pop up in your feed if you follow along using the light bulb feature. So that is something I will be adding to the list. Yeah. For my personal goals, one of which was cooking. I believe I said that I wanted to cook one meal per day. Initially I said dinner, but yeah, just even if it's breakfast, that counts. I was off to a good start at the beginning, you know, like anybody is when they set out to do some new plans. And I got off track because there was a family gathering, an event, and my mom is kind enough. She likes to take us out to dinner and to nice restaurants. And yeah, that sets me down a bad path. So I had to just take the difficulty out of cooking, shopping, preparing, cleaning up. And I ordered Huel. I had a live stream where I talked about it a little bit and I can talk about it more if people are interested but it's a meal replacement drink and it is completely nutritional in everything that you need. And it's so that I don't have to think twice about anything and get all the necessary things that I need that I have not been getting in my body, as well as just trimming down, hopefully, ideally. And so far, I really enjoy it. I started officially with regular drinks on the 30th of January. No, the 31st of January. If you're familiar with protein drinks, they taste similar to those. And it's not the greatest thing in the world, but I'm hungry. I go down, scoop, scoop, shake it up and drink it down. Easy, easy peasy. So just like last month, cooking was good at the beginning of the month. We'll see how this goes. I intend to uh, see it through because it is also very inexpensive if you take into account meal planning and all that stuff. Stretching and strength. I didn't do so great on the stretching. The strength stuff, I'm, it's not some major workout or anything. I wish I had my gym up here in Logan, but they don't have anytime fitness here, but I did do some other things at home. And in the beginning of the month, like halfway through the month, almost the majority, I did good with the strength stuff, flexibility. I don't know. I just don't, I don't like to do it, which is why I need to do it. February plans and goals. As I mentioned throughout, I will be working on my pre-planning and getting videos filmed early on in the day, the week, my trips, whatever it is, I just need to get up and get going and not waste any part of the day. All right, looking at my planner here, uh, same thing, same thing. This is like the theme of this month is going strong, medium strong throughout the month. 
uh, with filling things out and doing this stuff. Uh, same with the planner, keeping track of the planner. But I have sat down, gone through my planner and written some things down for February. So, oh, my big win for January, congratulations to me, is completing my drone test. So now I can fly my drone and make money from it, which I think I might sell some stock video footage. We will see, you know, just to help out the pocketbook. But that was my biggest item that I wanted to accomplish in January. And I did it. I did it. I did it. I did it. I'm so glad. Sometimes it pops into my head and I'm like, oh, no, it's done. It's done. I don't have to do it. Okay. For February, I have the review videos that I want to do written out. And then I have my Amazon shoppable videos written out. My goal this month, goals, are to get all of the Amazon shoppable videos done. And then a failure from January was not doing anything with business cards. So I will work on that. I don't necessarily need to complete it because I want a business card that's going to incorporate both but I have this Amazon subscription plan and I can get a website. So I'm thinking a QR code takes it to this website page. Here's Rachel in real life, Roar. Too much information. So that finishes the overview of my January goals and plans. And let me know if you have any goals that you set for yourself in 2023. How are you doing with yours? And as I mentioned, I will be doing these every month. There's a playlist link in the description. And if you would like to see a visual look of my analytics, then let me know. And I thank you so much for following along and watching. And I appreciate everybody's support with everything, watching, likes, comments, even using my Amazon links to shop because that has been huge for me. So I really, really, really appreciate that. It helps a lot. And that's it. Until next month, we will see how we are moving forward. Thanks again, and I'll see you in my next video.